Hello there, my name is Ismail. Welcome to another blended daily tip. And today I'm going to be showing you how to make uh, this bread here uh, without sculpting. How to model this bread without sculpting. Uh, I'm working on the materials uh, so you can watch the uh, the time lapse of the entire process on this second channel. You can go and subscribe to that. Uh, but uh, for this, I'm going to just show you how uh, to model this without uh, any sculpting. Uh, so I have a drawing tablet, uh, but I uh, it's a lot of work to set it up and uh, I'm not really, I don't really like sculpting that much. So uh, whenever I can do something without sculpting, I can, I do it that way. So yeah, so let's get in and uh, start doing this. So the first thing you want to do is model this uh, object here. So let me add, uh, what I used was, uh, uh, I think I used a cube and uh, gave it a subdivision surface, uh, applied uh, that just so I can get some square uh, geometry, uh, awkward geometry like this, and then, then I cut off or deleted the bottom part and uh, filled. I made the bottom part and then gone by filling it with F. I just beveled it a bit uh, to make it a bit rounded. I won't worry too much about the bottom part uh, for this tutorial. You can just go in and start joining these different uh, faces, edges, uh, by selecting one vertex and another, and then hitting J to connect them like that. Uh, but uh, I'm not going to worry about that for now. So let me just uh, give it a small shading like that. Maybe scale it on the X and Y axis a bit like that. Push it up a bit as well. And now to make these, uh, what I need is uh, I want to go go and then downloaded an image of uh, some crows uh, like this and uh, uh, then I added a mesh find this mesh and uh, started tracing out uh, these uh, what is sorry the shape of these crows one just one of them so just deleted all the vertices but one and then started extruding that vertex and uh, follow the contours or the shape of uh, this crow. You can try being precisely uh, precise as you want, but uh, it will become a lot of work uh, when you try to kind of, uh, because we're going to be using booleans uh, to cut this part out of uh, the braid. Uh, so the more vertices you, you have, uh, the more work you're going to have to do uh, to get it to kind of uh, blend it uh, correctly or easily so yeah so and uh, you don't need a lot of details to get this, this shape you can see they don't also have a lot of details here so uh, then you would uh, fill this into an end gun and then just come in and start uh, joining these faces uh, make sure you have uh, quads uh, it will make your life a little bit easier or the process a bit easier so join I'm just selecting two vertices and then hitting J to join them together <coughs> okay so this is then you just bring it here so if you wanted you can uh, just extrude this down and uh, uh, use it as a boolean uh, but uh, the problem is it's not going to give you uh, some of the edges you want here and uh, this let me just show you what I mean uh, if I add a boolean cut uh, you see it doesn't kind of curve in the same way that uh, uh, this would curve and uh, it kind of extends way past what I want so let me just show you how I did it uh, so let me unhide this delete uh, this bottom this extrusion make sure this is recording so uh, what I did is uh, I went to uh, the modifiers and added uh, a cast I think it's called a cast uh, shrink wrap uh, modifier and selected this as the target uh, this will uh, kind of wrap this object around around uh, uh, the bread and then uh, you can move it around to get it uh, to kind of wrap around the contours or different uh, the areas you want so if I can extend this a bit 
you can see how it's even curving around the object and uh, because you see a one three I don't mean it like this I want three uh, kind of max scale this you can go to edit mode of this shift D duplicate it exit it this side <coughs> so uh, you can also duplicate it to have it on this side uh, but uh, then you will have to uh, kind of come in and start uh, editing all these uh, to match them correctly uh, with the mesh uh, so what I did is uh, I just had two of these and I used a mirror to kind of mirror this side uh, so that I don't have to work on this side as well so uh, then after I was satisfied just make sure this is on the surface and uh, give it a, a slight offset so that I can see uh, the different polygons uh, okay so you may even want to add another subdivision just so this can wrap around uh, smoothly and then apply uh, this shrink wrap and then add a solidify modifier to kind of give it an extrusion that you will use uh, to add uh, to, to, to use for the boolean so then after that we can add a boolean uh, push it up above the subdivision surface and select uh, these marks uh, make sure they extend outside uh, the surface above the surface and uh, I think we are good to go so then we can apply uh, the boolean and uh, now we don't need this anymore <coughs> so uh, I don't want to kind of come in because we have to come in and start uh, we have a lot of oil guns here so we have to come in and start fixing a lot of uh, issues we have that uh, the booleans create you can see we have too many vertices here so you'd you'd have to mark them uh, like that uh, that's why I recommended to use uh, fewer uh, vertices uh, when you're working with this and uh, uh, if you do it this side you also have to do it this side and I don't want to do that so uh, then what I did is I just deleted this side and uh, used a, a mirror modifier uh, in the same way you don't you can't even tell uh, the difference you can you can't even tell that uh, this side is mirrored on this side because after that I added uh, displacement modifier to kind of distort everything so that's what we'll do uh, but uh, for now we need to kind of add a vertex uh, a loop cut going through all this uh, so but uh, we would need to kind of first push some of these vertices to this side and now we can select this vertex and uh, connect it to this and make sure that this is straight and aligns let's first delete these extra vertices we don't need make sure that is straight like that And now we can add a mirror modifier make sure it's above the subdivisions and uh, turn on clipping and merge it like that so now you can come in and start pushing these in a, a bit i'm just hitting g twice or if you want to have more control you can select uh, these bottom faces and uh, delete the vertices and then re -add, um, remake, make this an end gun again. Fill it with an end gun into a face again. Like that, so that you have control over how uh, the, the contour, uh, the impression uh, that is created uh, looks like so uh, i need this to be merged to that and uh, maybe this to this just removing extra vertices uh, that were added by the boolean
Okay, so I can match that with that. Um, I don't know how to think. I think I can do this like that. Uh, connect this to that. Yeah, so I'm not going to do this. In, I'm not going to do all of this at once. Uh, so I'm just going to show you. So after that, you just select this end gun and then insert it using I and then Alt S to push that in. But uh, I think you should do it uh, after you kind of connect these faces uh, like this. Um, connect this. I can connect this to this. And uh, let's see. Also, don't forget that uh, this should also be connected to that, like that. And then after, you can select this insert and then push that in. So if you see you're having issues like that, uh, you just need to recalculate your, in your normals and uh, then select uh, the thing again uh, but uh, we, let's first fix this issue here so I'll just push these around I don't need this vertex so then again uh, this can be married to this now I can select these inside faces and push them down like that. If you turn on our uh, subdivisions, I can see we still have a lot of things to fix. So I uh, can see we, we need these to be connected to an edge to give it uh, that support. Uh, like here, you may even want to add in a few extra egg loops kind of support uh, your measure bit like that you can pull this back a bit so your results will depend on how much time uh, you put in uh, but I think the time you spend on this is still going to be less than the time you would spend uh, sculpting uh, to get uh, s similar results. You would, you would obviously get better results with uh, sculpting, but uh, you'll also spend a lot of time, more ta you'll also be spending more time uh, on doing this. And uh, uh, which I don't like a lot, like doing. So I can push these back. Let's see. You may need to add a supporting loop to the bottom as well. So, uh, so wh whenever you have a large end gun, make sure you uh, reduce it because it's what's creating a lot of issues. So then I added uh, the displacement modifier and uh, added texture, cloud texture. Uh, let's increase the scalar bit, then reduce uh, the strength a bit as well. think you want to apply the mirror modifier here after you 
fix this side and uh, fix this side. Sorry, fix this side and this side. Me also add. Want to add a supporting loop around here? So let me just do it quickly by just pushing that in. You can see that I spent more time on this uh, than I'm spending here. Uh, so let's increase the contrast a bit here for these clouds. Reduce the scale. Those are the modifiers. So when you see this painting going on, uh, you can come in and start uh, pushing some of these vertices apart like that so that you reduce on that pinching. Yeah, so you need to spend a lot of time, uh, a little bit more time on this. Uh, you can see what I managed to achieve here. No sculpting at all. Uh, I gain, I use the same technique, booleans and uh, things like that. I think I had more polygons on this. Uh, that's why uh, I got better results because uh, these uh, extra vertices had uh, more polygons to connect to. So make sure you use a little bit more I think I used a subdivision of one when I was applying the modifier uh, so use a subdivision of two try a subdivision of two and uh, so that you have more vertices uh, you can connect uh, these extra polygons to you can see these others had a uh, vertices to connect to uh, but these ones don't have because we, because we didn't have enough polygons uh, like we did in this can see I still have some extra polygons that don't have what says to connect to but uh, they are not as many as I have on this here so I you may need uh, a few extra uh, polygons to have uh, these connected to and uh, yeah thank you for watching I'll see you in the next uh, video